Heath is because my trainer at the time was from Colorado and competed against Phil Heath and maybe his second show. And Phil Heath, when he walked in, everybody knew he won. I mean, yeah. and the guy wasn't even taking anything at that. And Phil Heath walks in and blows past him in two years. That's how you know genetics comes into play. Yeah. So not that Phil Heath didn't work hard or didn't follow course, his diet, but you know, generally speaking, Phil Heath could get away with doing less work than that guy and blow past him. And that's, that's the truth of it is that, you know, you start working out, if a group of people worked out, you sure. could follow Phil Heath's diet, you could follow Phil Heath's drug yeah. protocol, you could follow it's his a, workout protocol, and you will not look it's like a, Phil It's Heath. a really good point that I feel like should be hammered home. You can see a 60-year-old guy that's absolutely jacked, and you have no clue if he's on steroids or not. You can see an absolutely enormous 18-year-old. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely jacked, and you have no clue if he's on steroids. Yeah, you would never know for people, sure. People seem to want to be like, oh, if that guy's big, he's on steroids. Yeah. It's just not that simple. No, it's not. Now, one, there's a size level for sure that, absolutely. that's pretty impossible to hit. So you see a big freak, you know. But two, it is like a needle in a haystack. So you're talking like 100%. Phil Heath, you know, how many bodybuilding shows have I been to where I've seen bodybuilder after bodybuilder after? I've never seen a Phil Heath. You know, thousands and thousands of competitors. So one out of a million would be a Phil Heath that, you know, walks in and you're like, damn, that guy looks sure. like he's juicing. He's insane, now. Yeah. now, the other million guys are sure. juicing and don't look like they're juicing. That's so the problem. 